So how widely is the antibiotic streptomycin used on our crops and why are authorities around the world so strict about its use? Renee Graham has more. Dr Nikki Turner is a Wellington GP wary of prescribing antibiotics. She says if they're overused, bugs and germs can become resistant to them. And then we don't have any antibiotics to treat some of our most nasty infections and we're getting real problems with multi-drug resistant TB around the world and, and um, quite a few other nasty infections. The antibiotic streptomycin has been used as a pesticide spray in New Zealand since the 1960s from apples and pears for fire blight to tomatoes and kiwifruit for bacterial diseases. Its use is restricted and can only be used in a controlled manner. Its commercial supplier in New Zealand says there should be no detectable residues if the right dosage is applied correctly. If you sprayed a plant when it's in its flowering stage and the fruit is the bit of the plant that we eat, then by the time the fruit is produced, I'm almost certain that the streptomycin would have disappeared. The company that supplies it says it's currently by far the most powerful tool known to prevent PSA infection. And the Food Standards Authority tests found streptomycin presented a negligible increased risk to consumers. To develop resistance to streptomycin, you'd have to have a low dose for a very long period of time because the bacteria need to be exposed to it over and over and over again. But its use is controversial. The European Union will ban imported fruit if any traces of this or other antibiotics are found. The only slight worry in my mind, and this is quite rare, but some people are allergic to streptomycin. So if they got a very low dose of streptomycin, they could develop the symptoms of allergy associated with it. Scientists in New Zealand are currently developing an alternative pesticide for PSA. Renee Graham, One News.